What's up everyone? Today I'm going to walk from the World Trade Center to Wall Street by the New York Stock Exchange and then over to Chinatown. I recorded this video on October 15th, 2022. It's a Saturday evening, almost 6 o'clock p.m. And the temperature right now is 65 Fahrenheit, 18 Celsius. I just showed the tallest building in the United States, the One World Trade Center at 1776 feet tall. And this is the South Memorial Pool for the Twin Towers, memorializing the downfall of the Twin Towers on September 11th, 2001. Hard to believe that happened 21 years ago. Well, let's make our way across the financial district to Wall Street. It's a short walk from here. There's been a lot more tourist activity in New York City as of late. I just went inside the shopping mall here underneath the World Trade Center and it is filled with people. We'll go across Liberty Street to Broadway. And that will lead right into Wall Street. Here's the Four World Trade Center building. Ladder and Engine Company number 10 across the streets. This fire station in particular lost many, many lives on September 11, 2001. Here's Zuccotti Park. This was the home to the Occupy Wall Street movement. And here at Liberty Street, we have a street known as Church Street. It changes names to Trinity Place across the street, named after the Trinity Church, which is in the middle of the a block going down that way.
from Key to Libby. make our way across the street here. Wall Street is just two blocks away. Twin buildings, the US Realty Building and the Trinity Building. One of my favorite pairs of buildings in the financial district. And this building here is also very impressive, the Equitable Building. This was the building that changed the New York City skyline forever. Because this building was so tall, it blocked out all the sunlight around the area. So New York City said, we can't have this anymore. And they're requiring that the new skyscrapers need to be set back as the height of the skyscraper got taller. Sort of like a wedding cake. And this is the oldest part of New York City. It was originally called New Amsterdam. And for a long time, Wall Street was the city's northern boundary. Here's Trinity Church, which I talked about before. Previous versions of this church were either burnt down or dismantled. Let's stop by the New York Stock Exchange and see what's going on. There's a TD Bank here now. I don't think this used to be here. It's a brand new bank branch.
have here. New York, Stock, New York Stock Exchange building right next to me. You can't get into this building unless you work here, have special permissions, or you get invited. Federal Hall where George Washington took the oath of office to be the first president of the United States. Here's uh, the J.P. Morgan building which is under, undergoing some renovations. Stock Exchange. We'll go to the front of it so I can get a good pan up of the building itself. Then we'll make our way up Broad Street towards Chinatown and the Civic Center. statue of the fearless girl. This statue is only supposed to be here on a temporary basis, but now it's here permanently, I guess. I doubt we're going to get much sunlight here walking in the narrow streets of the financial district. From what I understand, this Federal Hall reconstruction here is supposed to last many, many years. I'm glad I went inside the Federal Hall Memorial when it was still open. They have a lot of history inside. Yeah, 4K. Yeah. yeah. Clear. Very clear. Oh, wow. All right, it was nice to meet you. Pleasure. Take care. You too. There's a fancy steakhouse, the Capitol Grill.
this building over here at Liberty Street and Nassau Street is the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. The world's largest stockpile of gold bars is right beneath our feet here inside the Federal Reserve Bank's vaults. Chamber of Commerce building right here. That's that building that I'm pointing at. And this one's the Liberty Tower. Important predecessor of the Wilworth Building. Thirty three stories tall. It's crazy actually. I was not trying to and not just and trying to change my pattern. Stickies, great for some chicken fingers. This block over here is good to get some restaurant food as well as the next block. This Thai restaurant looks very good. This sushi restaurant is pretty popular with the people working down here. What is this story Two Bros Pizza. They used to have one dollar slices, but now it's three ninety nine for two slices and a can of soda, which is still a great deal. We've reached Fulton Street, named after Robert Fulton, who brought his steam ferries connecting New York and Brooklyn at the time.
the Fulton Street uh, Transportation Complex is the main hub of Lower Manhattan. And there's the One World Trade Center building right in view of Fulton Street. Italian panini shop. And here's Vietnamese pho. Still doing construction on this building, I see. To the left of me is the Beekman. There's actually a really, really historic hotel. It's really known for its interior, the spiral um, atrium. make a left here so we can cross the streets. We're about to pass by the entrance to the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's make an attempt to cross now. New York City Hall Park right here. It's known for its central fountain. However, access to the building itself is reserved only for people who work there and have official business at the city hall. Thank you. 
Here's Pace University. I'm guessing most of these people are coming off the Brooklyn Bridge. It's much better to walk the Brooklyn Bridge walking to Manhattan than away from Manhattan. You get a much better view. And the Brooklyn Bridge is right over there to my right. Here's the Manhattan Municipal Building. This is the tallest structure in the city dedicated to government employees. Watch out of the loose tiles. What I'll do now is walk to Wharf Street through the Civic Center, right to Chinatown. Here's the front of the municipal building, New Amsterdam on the left. Manhattan in the middle and New York to the right. The city must be planning something for this street. They have it all blocked off. I'm actually going to cross the street over here because it'll get more difficult later on. Goes the cardboard box.
Oh, even over here the road is closed. My guess is that they're going to be doing some street resurfacing. And right now we're in the middle of Foley Square. This is where all the courthouse buildings are. Straight in front of me is the New York Supreme Courthouse. And this is the United States Courthouse. got some pretty good lighting right now there's certainly a lot of traffic to go northbound This state office building across the street from me is undergoing some reconstruction. But it is the site where you can get married.
Columbus Park across the street from me. Very active pe uh, park for people who want to exercise. There's basketball courts there, fitness equipment. And over here on Mulberry Streets, there's a bunch of these Chinese funeral homes. Some people call it Funeral Home Row. At the end of this block, when I turn the corner, we'll be in Chatham Square, arguably the most important entrance to Chinatown. I think Chatham Square is the intersection of uh, five or six different streets. Let's see, how many can I remember? There's uh, Chatham Square, the street, Mott Street, Work Street, Park Row, St. James, East Broadway, so already at six. Yeah, I think six streets. Where's the intersection of? Here's Mott Street. We're going to be walking up Mott Street to Canal Street. Chinatown was pretty active this afternoon with a lot of people frequenting its restaurants. Tons of amazing restaurants here in Chinatown. I've dined at practically every single restaurant on this block. Hop Lee and Hop Key is super busy right now.
these lanterns are really, really pretty. They've strung these lanterns across Chinatown to bring business back and promote some community spirit. They're on Doyer Street, Powell Street, and Mott Street that I know of. Wonder what this is all about. That is so cool. Busy corner here. This is definitely the busiest block of Mott Street between Canal Street and Bayard Street. They're all like Italians from fucking New Jersey. Yeah. A long line to get into the four, five, six Shanghai restaurant. Never seen it this long before. Hey, what's up? I'm about to wrap up a video here. I walk from World Trade Center. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Did you get some food yet? Oh, over here. Yeah, they're good. I can't believe how busy Chinatown is now. It's coming back. Okay. Take care. Bye. And with that, everyone, we have reached Canal Street, where I'll be closing out this video. I want to thank you all for coming out today to watch. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. See you soon.